Thanks for joining me. It's Peter Barlow, here, cardiologist. Now, a common misconception with respect to the heart is what is normal heart function. And I'll start by giving you an example of an inter interaction I had with a patient who came to me for a second opinion, had been in hospital recently, and came to me and said, look, doc, I was discharged from hospital, I was in there for five days, and I was told that my heart function was 45%. And the patient was quite depressed and worried about this. And he came to me and then he you know, sought my advice. And at 45%, he said to me, Doc, Doc, that's, that's, that's below par. That's a fail. That's a fail. My heart is failing. And I wanted to clarify this misconception because when we look at a percentage, and in mathematics, a percentage is usually out of 100. So we expect a score 100% being normal, 50% being the pass mark, and obviously anything less than 50 is a fail. And that can cause a lot of anxiety with respect to how we measure heart function. Now, there is an entity in the heart and you know, that we use called the ejection fraction. Now, the ejection fraction looks at how much blood is being pumped out of the heart each heartbeat. So the blood obviously is in the heart delivered from the lungs into the heart, into the left ventricle, which then ejects the blood out into the aorta to deliver blood and oxygen and nutrients to the rest of the body. So when we look at the normal heart function, and we term this ejection fraction, how much of the blood in the heart is ejected out per heartbeat? And the heart obviously beats at 70, say, 70 beats per minute. We expect that more than half of the blood in the heart at, every, at any given beat will be ejected out, more than half. So that's 50%. So more than 50% of the blood being ejected out and squeezed out of the heart is a normal heart function, normal ejection fraction. That's what we expect. So typically we have a, a percentage out of 100, but in terms of the heart, we refer to the ejection fraction. 50% or more, being normal. So when this patient came to me and said, oh, my heart function was 45%, 45% falls into the category of 40 to 50%, which is typically mild heart dysfunction. 30 to 40% is typically moderately severe heart dysfunction. And then once you start getting to an ejection fraction of less than 30%, we start calling this severe heart dysfunction. So we know that these classifications are very, very important because they guide what the appropriate treatment strategies are, depending on how you know, underperforming the heart muscle is. And there are several reasons why the heart muscle might be weaker, whether it be genetic or familial conditions, whether it be blockages in the arteries that in, impair the heart muscle or a history of a heart attack that makes the heart muscle weaker. The heart isn't able to eject all the blood out, and that then causes the heart to become weaker. And the ejection fraction, that percentage that looks at how much blood is being pumped out, to decline. So again, to clarify, percentages not normally used in terms of the heart, you know, out of 100. It's not an out of 100% score. It's normally an ejection fraction of more than 50% or more is normal, 40 to 50%, 40 to 49%, you know, to be exact, is mild heart dysfunction. Then we've got 30 to 39% is moderately severe heart dysfunction. And then anything less than that is obviously severe heart dysfunction, whereby the heart muscle isn't able to pump more than half of the blood out every given beat. So I hope that clarifies the situation. When this patient came to me and said, my heart function was 45%, well, again, I could reassure the patient that the heart muscle was functioning only mildly down. It was only reduced by a mild amount, and we've placed the patient on some medication that will no doubt go a long way to strengthening the heart, and we expect to see that the heart or the ejection fraction builds up to more than 50%. I hope that clarifies things for you. Thanks for joining me. Till next time, bye for now.